ha, 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 ha. Those are the Protoss chimes and whistles because this is a Protoss versus Protoss. And uh, that choir is actually singing for both players. Hi, I'm Galaxy Starcraft. I'm bringing you another awesome commentary here. And now uh, this is the ESL Cup. Okay, uh, we have White Raw, a.k.a. Duck Load Raw, the Red Protoss, at about the 4 o'clock position. And uh, Nani, he is going to be, not Nani Wa, I don't think, but it's going to be Nani. He's spawning at the, uh, the 11 o'clock on Jungle Basin. Ah, uh, Jungle Basin, this, this map uh, gives you an easy early expansion with a ramp and it's very defendable there are these destructible rocks here fortunately and a nice very narrow ramp here now if this ramp were like that big it would be a totally different story but it's very easy to wall off however this is Protoss versus Protoss and you don't need to wall off quite as much we can see that uh, Nani is even putting his gateway in kind of a strange place I think I don't know why you would put a pylon all the way out there but he's got a plan man so we're not gonna worry and uh, Duck Load a, a, is probably my favorite StarCraft II player. I don't know if he's the probably one of the best. He is one of the best white people who plays StarCraft II. Uh, I don't know if he's the best in the world, you know, altogether, but that doesn't really matter. He's my favorite. I'll always remember with fond memories the StarCraft II beta, how he defeated E.G. Hydra in... Um, in the uh, King of the Beta Tournament, which was sponsored by uh, Razor and hosted by Day, Day 9. And let's see. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, you just got to sneeze sometimes. Talking about the build order right now, it looks like a standard gateway into Cybernetics Core with an assimilator. And ex exact same thing from, from Nani. Build's about identical. Even food. And uh, White Rod does have quite a bit more APM. Wow, 300. You go, White Raw. Uh, he was a Brood War player, though, so in that game, you really do need the APM. They were saying, uh, you know, Brood War players were complaining, oh, you don't need APM anymore. But that's not true. You do. You can definitely be comfortable at around 150 and still, still do well. So anyway, I do love White Raw. Back to talking about him. Um, I remember this one specific play, I think it was on Kulas Ravine, where where uh, Hydra was rushing in with his Zerglings, and White Raw had his second expansion up, and he tricked he tricked uh, Hydra into thinking he could he could bring his Zerglings in, and, uh, you know, into his White Raw's base, and his Zealots were, like, farther away, they were, like, out of reach, like, he's, Hydra couldn't see them, and then he... He brought his zealots back, so he tricked Hydra, killed the off the Zerglings, and Hydra GG'd. You know, he always likes to GG at those kinds of moments where he's like, "Ah, oh, shit, that shouldn't have happened. GG. Looks like Ani is going to be aggressive with this Stalker here, or just move up to the Zelnaga Tower. This pro by Ani does is building a pylon, so that pylon does signify the 4 warp gate push which is coming he will also advance with this probe and build another pylon possibly here uh, well we shall see does white Ron know what's coming he doesn't actually know that that's happening he's scouting for white Ron is now scouting for uh, hidden expansions white Ron himself is actually uh, seems to be going for warp gate his his warp gates are a little bit later actually no five warp Five? No, four warp gates. Yes, indeed. I can count up to four. One, two, three, four. I can even count to four in Japanese. But never mind that. Here comes the uh, warp gate push. It's being delayed by this by this force field. White Ra is warping in units, putting more force fields up, preventing these these stalkers from eh, from coming up, destroying one stalker already. Let's look at the units lost. Let's keep an eye on that. Let's keep an eye on the army count. It's favoring uh, White Rod at the moment. White Rod's all of his warp gates are finished. Oh my gosh, we do have a zealot in the which is trying to get in the base of White Rod, but he is wa White Rod's walled off quite well. I think that's nope. Never mind that. 
back to the action. Another force field down. Another stalker loss for Ani. Ani is working on this pylon. Uh, these sentries and stalkers are working on those zealots. These stalkers are being destroyed from the high ground. Looks like White Rod is taking the lead here. I think White Rod is going to win. This is a failed push by Ani, and it is sort of all in. If we look in the base of Ani, we do have a pylon. White Rod is going to exact revenge. He's going to be all the times he's lost a four war game. Bush is going to kill Ani right now. It is over. The game is over. It is over. Zealots in the base of Ani. A little bit of a reaction for me, but I'm so excited because White Raw is the master. He is awesome. Ooh, yeah, die zealots. And Ani's simulator is going to do absolutely nothing. Probes are scampering around the base. They are going to be killed. They are going to go down. And these stalkers are going to kill off these zealots. And this pylon is going to go down. But it looks like the advantage is to White Raw. Ooh, Ani even has another zealot there. White Raw needs to destroy this pylon if he wants to expand. Let's look at what is White Raw going to put in any more units. I don't know. I don't think so. I think this pylon is going to go down right now. Mm. White Raw's ahead. By 10 food, and he's ahead by 24 to 16 harvesters. He did do quite a lot of damage there. This game is over. Well, it's not really over, but <laughs> Twilight Council coming now, robotics facility, and uh, very exciting so far. So, yep, he did destroy that pylon, and he killed off that zealot. He's going to be killing off this uh, uh, warp in pylon, uh, proximity pylon, whatever you want to call it and will be expanding. He's leaving sentries here just in case another push is coming. Ani does have uh, this pylon still. Uh, I don't think it... It doesn't power the tower. I wish it could power the tower. You could power the tower with those pylons. That would be cool. Maybe that's another buff that us Protoss players should be getting. Uh, let's see. So, th we're in kind of a lull right now. White Raw is content to just stay on one base, it, it seems, which is uh, curious considering He's at a bit of a lead. Usually, when you're in a lead, getting an, an expansion, if you know, if you're in a lead and you can get an expansion without them putting pressure on, that means that that makes your lead even better. You know what I mean? So, it's curious to me that White Rod doesn't have an expansion. We do have a dark, a dark shrine being built by White Rod, and Ani is just gonna chill and say, "Oh my God, I'm so glad I'm not dead right now. I'm so glad that White Rod hasn't." hasn't killed me yet. Oh, oh, I was looking for a little red dot on the mini-map. Oh, yes, we do have an expansion coming down right now. He's going to need that extra gas if he wants to buy a Dark Templars from the bank. And Ani is just going to happy to just sit here on one base and try and macro up as much as he can. Let's look at the production tab. We see at the DT Shrine it's just about to finish even a warp prism. So that means the White Raw will warp in warp prisms. Um, this probe will do the scouting for him. He'll see that there's no robotics facility. He'll warp. He'll use his warp prism to warp in DTs, probably into the um, mineral line. He'll, he'll, White Rock will probably even look to see if there's an expansion. So, uh, with that probe, he may very well. Yep, here's the probe. He's going to be looking to see if there's an expansion. And he sees that there probably there is none right now. Oh, White Rock hasn't yet built an expansion. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, here comes the War Prism. There are... Looks like three Dem Dark Templars in there already, and he probably... He doesn't have enough gas to warp in anymore. He does have 400 minerals for an expansion. Ooh! Looks like Ani sees this, but there's nothing he can do! N nothing Adi could do. And Adi said, Ha ha, I knew it. Good game. So, Ani knew it was coming, but didn't prepare. That's one thing, that if you know Dark Templars are coming, build a robotics facility, or build cannons, or something. Anyway, uh, Ani kind of gave up. He could have GG'd earlier, but it was cool to see these Dark Templars come out. We have... Anyway, so that's the, that's actually the end of the game. So thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you like. Yeah, do subscribe. I make you subscribe. And uh, check in this channel for later, because there will be more replays. Cheerio. And yeah. Cheerio.